If you are looking to start a professional podcast in 2022, then this is the video for you. I'll be showing you a few different mic options and showing you how to set them up to make them sound professional and all of that for under $300. So let's get into it. When starting a podcast, you can easily become overwhelmed with all the gear you need and think that you actually have to go out and buy all of the most expensive mics, audio interfaces, and a new PC to record it all on. But honestly, the options have never been better for starting a podcast, and Rode has a ton of mics that make it possible to record high-quality podcasts directly to your smartphone even, without having to break the bank. In 2022, it's less about the gear and more about what your needs are, where and how you want to record your podcast, and from there actually going and choosing the gear that fits your needs. Now, the title of this video is Cheap Professional Podcast Setup, and I guarantee that all of these setups will be less than $300 and will sound really professional if used correctly. And the first mic on this list is the Rode Video Mic Go 2, and what's great about this mic is how versatile it is. The video mic go to can be used as an on-camera mic to record both videos and vlogs. It can be connected by USB to a PC or a laptop and even be connected to your smartphone if you want to record either videos or podcasts directly on your smartphone using this mic as well. Now this works really well with the Rode Reporter app and allows you to actually record your podcast directly to your smartphone and then just export it from the app itself onto your PC, make a few cuts and then upload from there. The video mic go to comes in at only $99, but still packs a punch and sounds amazing. And since it is a super card away polar pattern, it is a little bit more forgiving in unideal situations where you have untreated rooms. And if you place it close to your mouth, it should sound great in almost any situation. Now, if you want something similar, but a little bit better, then the Rode video mic NTG might be the one for you. The video mic NTG is also an on-camera mic that comes in around $203, but it is a little bit more directional than the video mic go to, and it comes with a built-in battery and a few features that you can actually enable on the mic itself. And it also has an adjustable gain knob, which can be used to actually dial in the gain perfectly in every single situation. The video mic NTG can also be plugged into a PC, a laptop, or a smartphone and can be used to record all of your podcasts in any situation and it will sound really good. Other options if you're looking to record on your smartphone but you're looking to record two people, then you could use either the Rode Wireless Go 2 or the Rode AI Micro with two lavalier mics. And what's great about these two is once again that they work on both PC, laptop and smartphones and you'll get great audio quality since you can actually mic up both of your subjects, meaning you'll have perfect sound on both of them. Now, one thing that you do need to keep in mind about lavalier mics is that they are omnidirectional, meaning that they do pick up audio from all sides equally. So if you're making podcasts in less treated areas with more echo, then these mics might not be the option for you. And if you're someone that is a solo podcaster, I would suggest choosing one of the previous mics. But if you are a two person podcast, then these of course are options for you. Now the Rode Wireless Go 2 comes in at around $240 and the Rode AI Micro with two lavalier mics will start at around $200 if you use two lavalier goats. But of course, if you use more expensive lavalier mics, the price of that will actually go up and the price of the Rode AI Micro itself is $80. Now, if you want a more professional system, then Rode has got you covered with that as well with the Rode AI One, which is a little plug and play audio interface that can be plugged into either a PC, a laptop or a Mac. And it is as simple as connecting the Rode AI One to any device of your choosing via the USB-C cable, which is also the power and the transfer of the actual device itself, connecting the XLR mic of your choice and you're ready to record. The Rode AI One also has combo jacks at the front, making it perfect for home recording studios as well. And since it is so small, it really makes it easy to travel along with you wherever you go to make podcasts wherever you are. Now for this setup, I would suggest grabbing the Rode AI One, a Rode Pod mic, as well as the Rode PSI One or any other mic arm of your choosing or desk stand if that is something that you want. And this entire setup will set you back around $300, which is still cheaper than some other audio interfaces on the market today. Now, once you have selected your mic, there are a few best practices to actually get the best audio quality out of your mic. And number one is to actually get the mic as close as possible to your mouth. Now, what this does is it actually allows you to turn down the gain of the mic itself, meaning you'll have less noise in your signal itself. Plus, since your voice is gonna be the loudest part of the entire system, you're gonna pick up less surrounding noises and background noises, meaning 
that your audio quality will be better. Another thing that you can do is add a pop filter. Since you'll have the mic closer to your face, it will start picking up more plosive noises, which can be annoying. And instead of having people come back to your podcast, people will actually start leaving. Now, what's great about all the mics that I've actually mentioned is that they either come with built-in pop filters or they have these socks attached to them, which will, of course, already reduce plosive noises. But if you find that you need a little bit more, pop filters aren't that expensive and they are fairly easy to find. So just maybe invest in one to just increase the audio quality of your podcasts a little more. Then another thing you can do is actually choose the area where you're gonna be recording your podcasts. So don't choose areas that are very echoey or very loud in general, and rather move to your space where you have a little bit more control of how the actual sound is surrounding you. And then secondly, of course, is to turn down things that actually make a lot of background noise in the area you're gonna be recording in, like fans and air conditioning, as those will make a lot of background noise. And by cutting those out, you'll have a cleaner signal, which means you'll have a better signal which means you'll have a better sounding podcast. And then lastly, if you are in an area that is a little bit more echoey, take a few pillows and a few blankets and just scatter them around the area as that will reduce most of the echo. So even though it doesn't cut out all of the echo, it will make a slight difference, which of course could give you a little bit of better audio quality for your podcasts. So now you have your entire podcast set up, you have your mic, you know where you're gonna be recording, you have just recorded your first episode, now what? So luckily for you, the year is 2022 and there are a bunch of options for you to actually go and choose from. Some are free, some are not, but even the free ones are very capable and should be fine to use even if you have millions of listeners. So number one is a free option and it is DaVinci Resolve. Now DaVinci Resolve is a really powerful program that can do both video editing and motion graphics, but most importantly, you can use it to actually edit your audio, add some EQ and then export from there as an audio file ready to be uploaded to wherever you wanna actually post your podcast. Secondly is Ableton Live, which is not a free option unless you actually go and choose the Rode AI1, as then Rode actually gives you Ableton Live for free to use forever. Ableton Live is a really great program for you to record and edit your voice in, and packages start at around $99, but can be more expensive depending on the package that you actually choose. But honestly, I wouldn't actually go out and buy Ableton Live since it is mainly aimed towards music production, meaning that you'll pay for a lot of functions that you'll never use or never need, unless it is something that you actually use and need. And then lastly is Adobe Audition, which is free with the Adobe Creative Cloud subscription. But once again, if you don't have that, I would suggest just starting off with DaVinci Resolve since it is free. And that way you can actually test out, see if you like it and see if you even like making podcasts in general. And that way you actually didn't spend any money on any subscriptions or any programs that you'll never use again. And then from there, I would suggest adding some EQ to your voice and also selecting the distributor to actually distribute your podcasts for you. Now, the number one important thing when selecting a distributor is actually making sure that they distribute to the main podcast sites like Apple and Spotify, since that is where most people listen to most of their podcasts, meaning that if you want to have a podcast that is successful, you need to post your podcasts on those platforms as well. Some of the options are Anchor, which by the way is free and really good, Podbean or Squarespace, which you can make use of if you have a Squarespace website. So just make sure that if you're looking for a distributor that they actually fit your needs and fit your budget. And of course, that they actually distribute to all of the major podcasting sites. And then lastly is just start. Make a few episodes, see if this is really something that you wanna do. But once you know that this is something that you really wanna do and really take seriously, then I would suggest getting a Rode PodMic and at least a Rode AI1 or then the Rodecaster Pro or Rodecaster Pro 2, as these devices are really good. They'll give you amazing audio quality and they make it really easy for you to just record and export since most of the EQ and everything is actually run on the devices itself. So once you're done recording, everything should be near perfect and all you really have to do is make a few cuts and then upload. And that is it, I hope you learned something, I hope you found this useful, and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Also, tell me down in the comment section below, do you have a podcast? Do you wanna start a podcast? And what is your podcast actually about? And then also, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them down there as well. Also, I have left links to all of the items mentioned in this video as well. Some of them are affiliate links, so if you make purchases using those links, it does support the channel, and I really do appreciate that. And then, as always, until next time, cheers.